Let's talk about some must-know cardiac medications for the NCLEX. First off, we have ACE inhibitors. These are antihypertensives, meaning they help treat high blood pressure. These end in pril like lisinopril and enalapril. The main things you want to know about ACE inhibitors is that they can cause angioedema, which is rapid swelling of the face and neck. They can also cause a dry cough, and they can cause elevated potassium levels. If you didn't notice already, this spells out ACE, so you can easily remember the three main side effects. Next, we have beta blockers. These are also antihypertensives, but these end in olol, like metoprolol and atenolol. It's important to know beta blockers, but all antihypertensives can cause orthostatic hypotension. So you should educate your patient to change positions slowly and dangle their feet on the edge of the bed before standing. All right, next up is digoxin. Digoxin is a cardiac glycoside, and it's so important that you know the therapy therapeutic index, which is 0.5 to 2.0. Now, the two classic signs of DIG toxicity are vision changes and halos around lights. All right, next we have HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, but most commonly and more easily called statins. Statins are anti-hyperlipidemics, which means they help to lower cholesterol. The suffix for this medication is statins, just like the name. Examples are simvastatin and lovastatin. Statins have a major risk for rhabdomyolysis. Also, you can think statins take before sleep. You should educate your patient to take them before they go to bed. This is because cholesterol is synthesized at night. And lastly, we have aspirin. Aspirin is used for many things. It can be used for pain, as an antipyretic, meaning it's a fever reducer, anti-inflammatory conditions, and as a clot prophylaxis or to prevent clots. Some major things to know about aspirin are, there is a major risk for bleeding. So you wanna look out for those signs like black tarry stools and coffee ground emesis. There's also a risk for RISE syndrome. Now this is a rare disease affecting young children recovering from a viral illness. So never give aspirin to a child with a recent viral infection. If you need more help with cardiac medications and all things pharmacology, you can find it in the complete pharmacology flashcards. Happy studying future nurses.